what's going on, and I'm going to drop a new character into the world. Um, there's a bunch of different characters. Um, I like this hosser because he's, he's kind of fast and, and fun to fly around. And so I'm just going to give him sort of a little Oku Hello World program. Um, so if I press the Y button here, um, I've opened up, this is the program editor from Oku. This is entirely a visual, iconic based language. Um, it presents very simply, but um, in the demo I'm going to show you um, how it can be used for some more complex operations as well. So what I'm building here is a rule, and on the left hand side we have what we call the, the when condition um, for the rule. And this is all expressed in um, sort of um, physical terminology because um, we really want to be able to work with young kids. We've been working with kids as young as seven, um, uh, doing a lot of work with uh, seven to twelve year old girls uh, with UCSB in Santa Barbara. And, um, and we found that you know if you, you really want to keep the programming constructs relatable. Um, and so by doing that, everyone understands what vision is, they know what it means to look at something, and so you're really starting from a, a natural base of understanding. So I'm going to give this guy, I want to tell him to go and find apples in this world. So I'm going to tell him that when he sees um, an apple, these are all the different other kinds of things he can see. He can see other robots, he can see, he can see things of a certain color, etc. But I'm going to say, if you see fruit, then I want you to do something. And so over here we have what we call the verb clause. And so here are a bunch of things that characters can do in this world. Um, and there, there, there's a pretty broad array of actions, but um, move is what we're interested in. And once you've said what verb you're talking about, you get a bunch of different options about how you want to modify that verb. And since we had in the, in the first part of our rule um, uh, a clause that detects apples in the scene, we can now make verbs that refer to that apple. So here I'm going to move towards it. So I haven't put in an apple yet, so I don't have enough data to run my program. So I'll drop one in right here. And I'll even drop in a couple. Um, and so let's go ahead and uh, bring up the tool set again and run our program and see what happens. Okay, so you see he moves towards the app and he kind of lands on it. It squirts out from under him and he goes chasing it off the edge of the cliff, you know, which is always fun to watch. Um, <laughs> and so now let's spice it up a little bit. Um,